hi guys welcome back to my channel it's jess here um so today i was thinking i have a few errands to run and i really wanted to get glammed up and i thought i have some pr packages that i haven't actually used um or filmed with before it's all in here we've got some bobby brown we've got some elf we've got some nick so I thought I would just film. So I just thought I'd film with all this stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I can do a full face with this. So that's my attempt. So yes, I will say though, I do. They did send me the the bronze Bobby Brown, and I know I already really really love this. So there's no surprise with this one. I do highly recommend this for pretty much every single skin tone because you can even like get two of the colors and then just mix them in or you can just use all of them I tend to use all of them I'm gonna be taking the Bobbi Brown vitamin cream so I already know that I'm gonna love this um, funny because I wanted to use my eye cream for this because I do have the Bobbi Brown eye cream but I just thought I already have it the only thing is it broke the lid so I'm pretty sad about that I don't know about you guys but when I apply makeup I love applying a lot of cream especially in this server it's like pretty gloomy here and cold hence the rope but so with any cream I always go ring my face up so far I'm liking this um, the only eyeshadow product I have is from elf cosmetics this is called Saturday Sunsets. Um, I'm sure they have names, but I don't know where that section is. So this is how that looks. I'm not going to lie. I already tried to use this color once. Um, I'm probably not going to be too happy about using this, but I'm sure we can make it work. I also got sent to me the Bobbi Brown Concealer, and this is in shade Natural. So this is the Instant Full Coverage Concealer, and I have heard a lot of great things about this. Okay. It's a bit thick. Okay, so I'm going to take my fluffy brush, and this is by Morphe, and I'm just going to blend it. blended quite nicely. Okay, now with this shade first and then we're going to go in with this and try to put these two in the inner corners. So, hopefully that works. So, I always try to pat first and then I like to rub. Okay, so I kind of feel like this is a bit hard to blend. But I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, okay, so this is a little bit tricky to blend. So now I'm gonna go in with the purple shade. And we're going to just kind of put that everywhere where we put the brown shade. So just there. Now I'm going to go in with this pink shade here. And I'm going to be putting this in my inner corner hmm. okay that didn't 
I didn't do much, so I'm gonna go in with the brown shade, the bronzy shade. Let's see. That's better. So the bronzy shade, I like this shade. Good, good shade. Okay, so I'm gonna do my other eye off camera and then we'll get onto lashes and all the other good stuff. Be right back. I'm going in with the Jeweled Beauty Lashes. And this is in Charisma. This is a really nice lash. I think it's like a double wispy. Not gonna lie. I have used this NYX 3-in-1 before, um, so technically, so it's pretty much got a pencil, it's got a powder, it's got powder, and this is probably one of my favourite things, is the little spoolie. So I guess let's get going. Lightly everywhere. Okay, now I understand. It's like a crayon thing. That's probably why I'm not really fond of it. I'm just gonna coat my brow. Oh my god, guys! Mm. Hey gosh. <laughs> That looks so bad. Okay, I need to clean up my brows, guys. This is just... They look horrible. This is the wrong shade. Okay, guys, I'm so excited. The Bobbi Brown Foundation is on. Yeah. This is a Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15. It says it's full coverage, oil-free shine control. Okay. So, it says Fond de Tente Longe Denny Ultra Lacour. It's pretty much everything I just said. <laughs> this is my favorite brush. I know I look really white on camera, but um, in person, this actually is my shade. I love this foundation already. I have only the cream on, and it gives me like a nice glow. And this is the Bobbi Brown Corrector Concealer. This is apparently instant full coverage. So, let's see if she's real. Okay, so I will apply how much I usually apply. And mainly for this look, this is really thick. So now I'm gonna get the other side of this brush and we're gonna start blending her out. Back to party. So I'm just taking a clean beauty blender. And we're gonna kind of like. I had this before. I didn't mind it. This is the Elf She Concealer. I'm gonna give it a go because this is the first time I'm using it on camera. And I will say I really love the packaging. Honestly, like this little thing, how we can you just like does some product and then you just. Turn it over and it goes on that side so you're not really wasting that much product which me I personally find very handy because I'm a huge mess when it comes to powders. So you don't need a lot. I have this by e.l.f. I've tried this before I already know how I feel about it but I'm going to try it on camera and I have the NYX what is this? This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Palette. Okay, I need to get it together. So I know I'll be taking this banana e shade and this is 02. And then I'll be taking these two, which is 07 and 06. But first, let's start with the um, e.l.f. one, just because I want to give it another fair go and I want you guys to see how it applies on the skin. I'm going to first go in with blush. And this is the blush shade here. So... <laughs> Let's give her another go. Mm. 
Alright, so... This does have really nice like glitters to it. I don't know if you guys can see. Um, overall though, I don't think this does that much. It's very, very she. Um, me, personally, I like blush. If we're going to be completely honest, I'm not looking forward to using this one. So this is a bronzer shade. And last time I used it, it kind of made me blotchy. Just didn't blend properly. There are some little blotches there. I really, really love this. For anyone who wants an affordable contour and like powder um, under the eyes, I highly recommend this. Okay, Bobbi Brown also sent me this blush. And this is, I am really excited to use this because it is beautiful color and this is in fresh melon and this is in one two seven and we're just going oh <gasps> guys i'm so stupid this is a cream this is a blush right lips and cheeks fantastic i'm just gonna put that on so they said that you can use this on your lips too. That is what? This is like... <sighs> okay, I found my new blush. I found my new blush. What? And this whole time I thought this was a powder. Goofball. Now I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown... I was going to say concealer. I'm going to be taking the Bobbi Brown Mascara. I'm not going to lie. I've never tried this before, but I love the wand. So I don't think I'm not going to like this. I just love when you put mascara on and then your lashes look like they're part of your skin. And you just kiss. All right, guys. This is the real test. If you see any hairs below, then you know that it's a good hair. That is a good hair. That is a good wand and mascara. Because nothing ever makes my under eyes look good and neat. For that fact. What? What's that? I love this mascara. Okay, I love this mascara so much. I'm so happy with it. I'm setting my face with the e.l.f. Cosmetics Mist Setting Spray. I don't know if that's a good idea after mascara, but that's okay. I'm sure they would set. Alright, I'm not going to lie. That um, mist smells really bad. And I every time I do this... I regret it. I'm using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Illuminating Palette. I'm going to be using these two shades right here. Pat her on top. So I don't mind this at all. You know what? I'm going to put the Bobbi Brown on top because we're at I like to mix all the shades together. Let me tap it off. And this is a whole new thing on its own. I want to go in with this shade and then I want to put this on top or I want to put this on its own. The e.l.f. did send me this natural lip thing. Um, might as well put this on because I want to put the NYX gloss on top. I love all NYX lip products. My lips are so dry. This is pretty creamy. I don't like the color though. This is the Nick Lip Gloss Shimmer One, and this is in Stable. In Sable? 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 I don't know. And I love this wand because it's super thin at the top, so if you want to like kind of get a sharp line, you can. Alright, everyone, we're done! So, eyeshadow. Don't mind it, honestly. Um, 
it's not the worst although it isn't the best okay the NYX eyebrows pencil <laughs> I didn't really like that I'm not gonna lie I kind of feel like my eyebrows are stuck on um, they don't look too bad maybe if I had a different shade it'd be better it was okay foundation I really liked it as you can see it covered pretty nicely um, I didn't sit there so I'm assuming that's why it's cracking a bit yeah, overall, I like the foundation. I am going to leave it on for a little bit because I actually kind of want to test it out and see. For some strange reason, my lips are very tingly. I'm assuming it's a lip plump. I wasn't aware of that. It kind of feels like it's burning, so I hope they're okay. Lashes are the only things that I have used before, and they're from Jilled Beauty. She's incredible, cruelty-free, and vegan. So, I mean, you can't get really better than that. I love the concealer. Honestly, it really did cover nicely. I do think it's very thick, so I really do recommend putting a cream on top. I should have put the Eye on Bobbi Brown eye cream because that is super hydrating and my eyes are pretty dry. Um, so I do recommend putting that on. Although I did really love how it concealed. It is very full coverage. Favorite thing out of everything is this cream from Bobbi Brown and this is Fresh Melon in 24. This is incredible. I am definitely going to use this again. I already know what I'm going to do with it. So stay tuned for So I just got ready. And I really, really like this look. I think it performed really well. If you guys liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. My channel. I don't know why I say that really weirdly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye guys. See you in my next one.